Well, good morning, everyone. School board members, Mr. Stratton. I have a question for you. Did you carry each of the 22,621 students of Hernando County in your womb or worry by their bedsides when they were sick? Their parents did. Why? Because those 22,621 children belong to them. As they enter the doors of the schools, they still belong to their parents. When they drop them off at school or leave them at the bus, they are trusting you to protect them. We the people, we the voter, and we the taxpayer is here to speak about what happens when the very young are exposed to pornographic pictures, drawings, and writings like the ones found in the libraries of Hernando County Schools. There's been a lot of talk today about book banning. Let me tell you about the books that need to be banned in the schools. The American Academy of Pediatrics, June 2016 states, pornography may be defined as the depiction of erotic behavior, sexual display in pictures or writing that is intended to cause sexual excitement in the viewer. This is happening in even our elementary schools, our middle schools, our high schools. Consumption of pornography is associated with many negative emotional, psychological, and physical health outcomes. These include increased rates of depression, anxiety, acting out, violent behavior, younger age of sexual debut, sexual promiscuity, increased risk of teen pregnancy, and a distorted view of relationships between men and women. And sexual predators have purposefully exposed young children to pornography for the purpose of grooming the children for sexual exploitation. These books need to stay out of the hands of the kids. The American College of Pediatrics urges healthcare professionals to communicate the risks of pornography use to patients and their families and to offer resources both to protect children from viewing pornography and to treat individuals suffering from its negative effects. Are you listening? When I hear an elected school board member state that the pornographic materials found in the books of our very libraries in Hernando County don't really matter because after all, the children may be exposed to it somewhere else anyway. It angers me and it should anger everyone who's an advocate of protecting the minds, hearts and future lives of these children. If the American College of Pediatrics finds this exposure extremely harmful, then any books not immediately removed by this board is intentionally causing further harm and damage to a minor we are here to say enough is enough. Hernando County School Board, if for nothing else, it is your job to protect the innocent. Thank you for your time. Thank you.